Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to do a very quick lesson just on selecting and masking in Photoshop to quickly remove subjects from backgrounds and place them over top of another background. So let's get started. So I've downloaded a couple images here uh, and uh, let's get started with this person standing. And uh, what we're going to do over here on the left hand toolbar, we're going to grab the object selection tool. Okay, the object selection tool. Pretty handy tool you can see if you hover over top of your objects actually highlight or you can just do a click and drag box to select your subject so as you can see from this very quick selection uh, we're pretty well getting the person however we've got a lot of extra details here with the rocks so let's go up here to the top to select and mask to refine our selection so i'm going to click on select and mask and it's going to bring us into a new window here uh, and first thing i'm going to do is change my view mode by default it goes to onion skin i'm going to put it to overlay I find that overlay helps a lot when doing these type of selections to really kind of clearly see what's being selected and what's not. And you're going to be constantly wanting to play with this opacity slider here uh, to make sure that uh, to, to make your selection job easier. Okay, let's zoom in by pressing Z and dragging the mouse wheel in. Hold down space bar to pan here. And as you can see, we got a few issues here we need to resolve. Uh, so let's go up to our brushes here. And we have three main brushes we're going to be using today. The first brush is our quick selection tool. Quick selection tool is kind of a uh, smart brush. Uh, it analyzes surrounding pixels, pixels and tries to, um, uh, to determine what to select and what not to select based on colors and patterns. Then we have the refine edge brush. The refine edge brush cleans up any edges and removes any uh, nasty highlights there. It also works relatively well in hair. And then over here, we just have our standard brush tool, which is just a, uh, an on or an off feature. Um, so use that as you want, okay? So if we go down to the legs here, we can see we've got a bunch of rocks that we're no longer wanting. By default, the brush is on adding mode. So if I paint this, it'll add to the selection. If I hold down Alt, it'll remove from the selection, okay? We can make our brush bigger by holding down Alt, right click and moving the mouse left and right. And let's remove some of these rocks here. So I'm just holding down Alt here while I'm painting the rocks. And as you can see, we lost all of their legs. So that is a downside of the quick selection tool. Uh, it tends to um, uh, be a little bit too smart for its own good sometimes, and it makes a very simple mistakes. So what you'll have to do is you can see we've presented endless frustration here, how we're adding and removing, adding and removing, and it's just gonna kind of go back and forth. Um, so what we'll have to do is when we get a little bit closer uh, to being to where we want, I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit, and I'm gonna change it just to my brush tool. Now the brush tool, as I said, it's kind of clearly just on or off. Okay, so let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's remove this from the selection. That looks pretty good. So the brush tools, when you can really zoom in, let's hit the Z button again, zoom in on the feed here. Excellent, let's go back to our brush tool, hold down Alt, make that smaller, and let's add to this selection here. Now with the brush tool, we can be much more precise about our selection. And let's just get rid of that little bit there. Select a little bit more there. And you want to go back and check your opacity. So get rid of a little bit there. And then we'll go and add this in here. Remove that, add that. Let's put it through opacity again. And I mean, you're going to want to spend a fair amount of time on this, especially if it's for your movie poster or your surreal composite. You don't want to kind of rush this step. I'm going a little bit quicker than I normally would, but... Okay, so you can see I'm kind of going back and forth here. So I'm going to grab a little bit more there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now let's see how we're looking up here. See, we actually lost a little bit of a shirt here. It's one of the reasons why I like the overlay mode. You can see it a lot easier. Um, and we see got little bits here. This is a good place for the brush. Make the brush nice and small. And just take away these areas here and there. Around in there. So I'm just holding down Alt and painting these out here.
Okay, so that's looking all right. But one thing you're gonna notice, we have this like little halo effect that's going all around our subject here. Uh, and that's very common when you have a, a soft light coming from the front of the subject. But if we go to the refine edge tool here, uh, we can use the refine edge tool to kind of paint around our edges here. And as you can see, it's kind of removing that uh, glow halo effect. So you're gonna wanna go around the entire object generally. Uh, you don't have to be super precise. Uh, but you are going to go around everything. Okay, and I'm not going to go around everything here, but uh, you're going to want it for your project. So once everything's all said and done, uh, we need to make sure that we are exporting our selection properly. So on the right hand side here on the panel, we're going to open up output settings and we're going to change our output from selection to new layer with layer mask. It's very important you do that and new layer with layer mask. Okay. Uh, we have a bunch of other selections here in the global refinements. You're welcome to play around with those and see what they do. They can be situational, but they can help in certain circumstances. Okay. So now that I've got it to new layer with layer mask, we're going to click OK. And we have removed our selection there. Okay. Now we still have our original, which we can turn on and off. And you can see our new layer with our layer mask here. All right. Now we can go in and we can drag in another image if we want. Put it underneath. Right, and then we can move around our image and resize and rescale and make it blend in more at a later date. But we won't worry about that too, too much for now. That is something you can do for your own time. And there'll be another lesson on how to blend colors and lighting, which we will go over more later. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you all later.